Well, how about y'all? This is Daniel Nicholson with Nicholson Farms and welcome back to another video down here at the farm this afternoon. And we need to get the goats moved to their next pasture. We need to get the horses moved and also the bucks. Uh, but first we got a little bit of a project that we've got to do first. Uh, Hurricane Ian came through this past weekend and knocked down a limb on one of our fences, our perimeter fence. So we need to repair that real quick. I just need to cut the limb off the, the fence, put some new wire clips on it. Shouldn't take too long. Then we're gonna get the goats moved. Uh, the hurricane didn't do too much damage. We were gonna actually move like the pontoon into the pasture, the horse trailer into the pasture uh, to give the animals a little more shelter or the goats some more shelter. Uh, but all we ended up with was about an inch of rain and about 20 mile per hour wind. So we got lucky and we didn't have to do all that moving around, uh, but I know we really appreciated the rain. Uh, it's getting really, really dry here again. Uh, we got an inch and a half, I believe. We could have used some more, but we're not complaining. Uh, my heart goes out to all those people in Florida. That's, they got all that flooding and damage. Uh, it's hard to see. Hopefully, everybody's all right and uh, got a little bit of rain off the hurricane. But I guess it's time to go get busy. We're going to go see if we can cut this limb off this fence, get the fence back up, and get the goats moved this afternoon. So this is our little fencing problem. The goats are going to be moving into this pasture right here. Uh, we've got to get this done beforehand because this is our perimeter fence. Uh, it is, it does go to our neighbor's property where we typically graze our goats in the afternoon. Uh, but I don't really want them to have access out there 24 seven. And for predator standpoint, I like to have them locked up with a secure fence at night. Uh, so this big old limb or a couple limbs actually fell out of this tree. This is old sugarberry tree. I'm not sure what the scientific name is we call them sugar berries around here something is hitting them hard in our area over the past couple of years pretty much all of them's died uh, this one's dead this one's dead there's one actually on the ground over there that fell a couple months ago we still haven't cut up the one beside it's dying over in my neighbor's horse pasture several of those are dead uh, so these trees are pretty much going extinct in our area which is fine this is really a trash tree uh, if you park anything underneath this tree during the fall it's going to turn everything black uh, the hood on my truck over here my old truck i haven't washed it really good in years but the hood and the uh top of the cab is stained black for because there's one down by the shed where i park it they have a lot of little berries that feed some birds but other than that there's really no value in them for us timber wise I guess they can put off some shade for livestock, uh, but I'm not too sad about all of them dying. I wish something would come and attack um, sweet gum trees as well. Uh, but on this fence line while we're here, I'm actually in the process of looking for some sawtooth oats. Uh, we've got this live oak right here on the other side of it on down is a sawtooth. Here's another live oak right here that was planted years ago. I'd actually like to find about four or five uh, sawtooth to plant along this fence line to give us some shade whenever we do our cross fencing uh, so maybe we need to just cut this big guy down i'm not too good with it i'm not too good of a arborist so i don't know about me cutting down a dead tree we might just have to wait and let it fall and then clean it up then but as you can see the fence is down it's about knee height right here it's just this one little section i pretty much just have to cut the the branches off the tr off the fence it should pop back up replace a couple t-post clips and we should be good to go Well, I was able to get all the limbs off the fence. Uh, didn't record putting the fence back up. It's not 100% tight. Need to work on it some. Uh, but I just cut the logs off for right now. Uh, I am gonna come back on my neighbor's property and pick up these bigger logs, take them our burn pile. Whenever I clean up all this, all the smaller stuff, I can probably run over with our bush hog, kind of chop it up, it'll be okay. Uh, but the wire was actually touching our hot wire fence so it's kind of shortened it out uh, so it's something that definitely needed to be done 
like I said, it's still kind of loose, uh, but shouldn't have a problem with the goats testing it too much. Uh, so now that we got this fixed, I'm already in this pasture. Our little pigs are up here. I'm gonna, I got the water in the back of the truck. We're going to go ahead and top off their water. And then the four little bucks are actually in this pasture. They didn't respect the poly wire fence. So they've been in here for about a week. Uh, so we've got to get them out, get the truck out of here, and then we'll bring the goats into here. And hopefully it all goes smooth, starting to run across the clock. These shorter days are starting to catch up to me. Can't take my little break when I get off of work. I got straight back to work. Must be nap time at the pig pen. So while the water's filling up for the pigs, let's see if we can get these little guys back where they need to be. Let's go. Hey. Man, I'll tell you what, I really wish I could use this guy right here. He wasn't related to so much stuff in the herd. He'd definitely be hanging around for a little while. He looks pretty good to me. Hey, I'll go through that gate. See if we can get these girls moved before dark. I've got to still water these pigs up here, the three bigger ones. But I'm gonna do that before I move the horses and the bucks. So I might not get the bucks and the horses moved over dark. Uh, but they're definitely ready to move. Normally I use this pasture for about two weeks. Uh, this time I held them all for three weeks, trying to get a little more consumption on broom sedge. You can kind of see the patches of broom sedge through there. I'm probably I'm thinking about coming through here with a weed eater and hitting them before they seed out, to be honest. But the horses and the bucks are going to come in here. So hopefully them bucks will hit some of it. And uh, got a good graze on it. Not too much. I say we still got about, I don't know, 10 inches worth of forage in here. More than I want to graze but we're running out of time to grow. Grass has definitely slowed down, part of which was rain. And another big part was just, you know, the day lengths shorter. It's getting cooler at night. All these plants other than the fescue are starting to show like they're going into dormancy. Uh, this, is the, this is the next pasture that the goats are going into. It's pretty good forage. It's all about knee high uh, for the most part. They're gonna be in here for three weeks. We're gonna hit it hard as well. I try to knock down the broom sedge and then they're going to be going up to the lease for about two weeks uh, so we've got about five weeks until we're expecting to start having to feed hay uh, at least a little bit here and there we'll see how the fescue takes off and uh, see if we can get some grazing off of some fescue we'll just have to wait and see I'm hoping that it's not going to be a disaster with the pig pen. I'm hoping the goats don't find that feed. And I'm hoping that uh, hog netting against that three strands of hot wire will kind of prevent them. We're just going to have to see over the next couple days. If I need to add some more strands of hot wire. Come on. Let's see if they'll follow me. One sees it. There they go. Y'all move along. Don't mess with the feeder. Now that we're in this pasture, honestly, I might hold them for four weeks in this pasture. Just give us a little more grazing before we have to start bailing hay. I mean, feeding hay. Because now that they're next to the fence line over here, they do have access to the neighbor's property without having to walk them through other pastures, which we haven't been doing because of the bucks are in the way. Uh, so we might actually get four weeks of grazing out of this. 
this little pasture here. What a pretty sunset. Let's check the water up here at our larger pigs. Looks like they're gonna have enough to last them one more day. Uh, so I guess I'll just battle the horses in the gate tomorrow. We'll go ahead and let the horses in here and wrap up this video. Come on, Clyde and Thunder. Horses found the gate. Might have to leave this gate open for tonight. The billy goats are not used to rotating as much as the does are. We're gonna make one attempt at getting the goats where they need to be, or the bucks where they need to be. We're actually leaving some pretty good stuff in here as far as fescue goes. Everything else is going to sleep for the winter. Come on, Bucks. Let's go. Hey. You want Miss Thunder? See if they'll follow me. I doubt it. We're gonna get the goats moved. Got our fence fixed. Been meaning to work on that for the past couple days, but it was raining all day Friday, the day after it happened. And then Saturday, me and my dad actually went up to Clemson for the ball game, NC State Clemson game. Watched the ball game, didn't get home till real late. Had to work Sunday. It was pretty worn out. So it's gonna be a week full of catching up because I really didn't get anything done all weekend. And I think tomorrow I'm going to start another video. I am still struggling with getting power to the pig pen and my wire for in between on our fence right here to keep the goat's head getting stuck. It's pretty low as well. Uh, so tomorrow, I think the whole video is going to be trying to get the fence as strong as possible. Uh, doing some weed eating, getting some debris off the fence and trying to figure out what is shorting out. I'm sure there's something touching that's not supposed to be. But I really appreciate you hanging out. I'm going to go help my brother with a little project before dark. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. It would mean a lot to us. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, and we'll see you all on the next one.